Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Woodpecker's Live. Today, we're doing a test. Uh, if you're watching this after the fact, the test went really, really well. Uh, if you never see this again, obviously, we have some technical issues to deal with. Uh, but uh, we're going to go ahead and try and create something that we can actually use. John's behind the camera. Cameron is behind the computer. And we're going to talk today about Woodpecker's multi knobs. Um, this is one of my favorite Woodpeckers products. I've loved this uh, ever since I came to work for Woodpeckers. It's such a cool idea. Uh, you know, you, you build jigs and fixtures in your shop. And most of the time, as you're trying to figure out what you're going to do, uh, you're figuring out whether you need knobs that have a stud on them or knobs that have a, a, a nut. Uh, and then you get that kind of figured out, you go to the hardware store, they've got knobs with studs on them, but they don't have the length that you want. They've got the length that you want, but it's not in the thread size you want. And it just turns into a giant hassle. Then you get home with your very expensive knobs, and the first time that you use it, what has happened to me on a number of occasions, uh, they have these little bitty splined heads molded into the plastic. The second time you put any amount of torque on them at all, they strip out. And then you're back to square one. Well, I'd like to show you a different approach. Uh, Woodpecker's multi-knobs are just that. They're designed to be either a stud or a nut, either one. What we've got here is a fiberglass reinforced hex head wrench in the bottom of that knob, okay? And there's a taper to that. So you can take any bolt, drop it in there, and it falls into that taper. Now you could just go ahead and put this in your jig, tighten it down, and it'll pull the head down into that taper. Or if you're impatient like me, you can take a drift and just tap it a couple of times, and it's good to go. It will never slip, it will never strip out. Okay, now, if I need a female instead, we're just gonna take a hex nut. Drop that down in there, and now we will just get the thread started on that. Give it a good pull. And now we made a knob with a nut. Okay, let's say that this one that we made, we find out as we're putting our jig together, the bolt is too long, okay? A couple of taps, that one's out, the shorter one's in. Now we got a shorter bolt. So if I want to repurpose this, if I want to use it for a different jig, a different fixture, all I've got to do is pop it out, pop in a new bolt. Now we make these in three sizes. The one I'm using today is 5 16 So that works with any 5 16 18 bolt. Actually, the thread size doesn't matter. You can you can use it with fine thread if you want. As long as it is a 5 16 bolt, it'll fit in that. Okay. We also make it in quarter inch and in 3 8 So we have quarter inch, 5 16 and 3 8 So that is Woodpecker's Multi Knobs. We think they're a great little product, uh, and uh, we're going to put this on the website if you work with jigs and fixtures, if you build your own jigs, the best thing you can do for them is to get a bag full of the three different sizes of multi knobs in your shop, and everything is going to go a lot smoother. Hey, thanks for watching today, and we'll see you this coming Friday when we're going to go live, really live, talking about our sharpening system. Okay? Have a good afternoon. Thanks. Bye.